Hi, welcome to Coffee with Angel. This is my first vlog. So hopefully you have grabbed your coffee and are joining me just for some good information. Hopefully it'll help you out. Um, you'll notice with my blogs that they are not scripted. Um, that's not really who I am. I just kind of am casual, laid back, and like to just kind of say it as it comes to me. So you'll notice if you had entered your email for the free audio that it was, I had written it down, and I may sound a little bit like this and some of it, but I, uh, I don't want to do that with this, and I just want to kind of talk, feel like I'm talking with you guys. So I may say things and stumble on my words or have a mental block, but uh, you'll have to just work with me through those because I'm not going to stop and re-record because I just don't have time for that. So today, for my first blog, what I thought I would talk about is dream stealers. And... Most of us have come across dream stealers um, or know them or some of you are dream stealers and that is basically a person who tells you you can't achieve your dreams, that you're going to fail, that you're not going to get there, that there's no way it's going to work um, and gives you every reason in the book to not believe in yourself and want to give up. Um, and we're just kind of programmed to listen to those people and they give us the ability to just give up and think that that's okay. And they give us that pat on the back and say, you know what, I knew that wasn't going to work for you. Don't worry, it's okay to fail. And you just kind of get used to that. So for myself, I started my business in June of 2013. And my business um, it's a health and wellness and fitness um, and it's just my passion and I won't get into what my company is if you want that information that's on this page and you can look at that there but I was so excited um, so excited about the product so excited to share it with people and immediately what do you do when you start a new business you think of your warm market and so that's the people closest to you, your friends and your family and as I got to love the products, I was thinking if so-and-so is going to love this and so-and-so is going to love this and this person is going to want to build the business with me and this person, we're going to be so successful together and I just was thrilled to just share this with the people that I love the most. And what I got met with as I did that was no, 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 and no. And you just, you get crushed because you see this vision and you see this love that you have for something and the people that are supposed to care about you the most are telling you it's not going to happen and they give you every reason why because they didn't make it work or they know so and so who was in this company and, and they didn't make it work and every entrepreneur is going to come across these people and unfortunately it's going to be the people that you love the most that are going to be this way. So I struggled in the beginning just kind of getting over that negativity and there were lots of times where I wanted to stop. I wanted to listen to that person that told me that I was too excited about this and that that was going to, you know, steer people off. And then when you start to feel that way, you figure that the people who love you the most and care about you the most are at least going to support you and cheerlead you um, or, you know, just give you that shoulder to cry on and say, don't worry, you're going to do it. But that doesn't even happen. And those people eventually come around. Um, as they see you start to succeed and, and start to live your dreams and see that you mean what you said. And some of those people are watching me right now and know who they are. But um, I just, you know, you have to kind of just push through. If you have that gut feeling, if you have that love, and if you know you're on the right path, you stay on that no matter what. And I just, one time I was watching uh, Darren Hardy at uh, a leadership academy, and he said, if someone says to you, you know, you can't do it, you're not going to make it, you say, I'm going to the top. And if they say, but you know what, the top is pretty scary, there's not very many people there, you say, I'm going to the top. And then if they say, but you know what, you don't want to be at the top because that's really scary and then people are going to really expect a lot out of you. And you just say, I'm going to the top. And so for me, that was, that was really just something that just kind of opened my eyes. I realized that my warm market obviously wasn't going to be how I was going to build this business and that you have to start looking at your cold market which is people you don't know and eventually that warm market is going to come around once they see what you're doing and you're going to start to have people coming up to you and saying well okay I see you're actually doing this and and you know what are you doing and what was that again and it builds you up but you have to get through that point of rejection and feeling like a failure because you're being told you are so one of my mentors is Ray Higdon, and there was a couple of things that he has said that really stuck with me. And one thing is that failure is selfish. And 
what that means is you succeeding is going to help so many people. It's going to help your family. It's going to help the people that you donate money to, uh, you know, whatever your cause is, it's going to help so many people. So just think of what you can do once you're successful. And there you go. Failure is, is selfish. And then the other thing that he said, and it's a good way to approach your warm market, um, is, hey, you know what, I'm going to do this with or without you, but I would love to do it with you. And I think that's just such a good way to say it. If you say that to someone and they still say, nope, I'm not doing it with you, you walk away. And you've removed yourself from the attachment of that person saying yes. They've said no, good, I'm going to do it with or without you, so I'm going to go off and do it. So I just, uh, you know, I think for this one, I just want to talk about that. I'm going to go into the next vlog and I'm going to talk about approaching your cold market and what you're supposed to do once your warm market has all said no. Um, but, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this one. I hope you got something out of it. I hope maybe it pumped you up to, uh, you know, go follow your dreams, chase after what you're doing. If you maybe today were feeling like, I can't do this anymore, maybe you watched this and it gave you that extra boost to get through the day and get through what you were doing. So if you liked what you saw here today, leave me a comment, share it with me um, or share it on any of the social media buttons there. And uh, yeah, I look forward to getting to know some of you and sharing this, uh, this stuff with you, my life, who I am, and what I'm doing with my business.